everybody, Lisa Schwartz here. We're coming out of hibernation. We had the sun, I'm so thankful, and we're here at the Yardway site. I know you're sick of winter, so am I. We're gonna get out in our yard. We have neighbors here at 1507 South Road. The 1507 South Road is the Yardway site. We have our dog park, we have our, our mulch pickup, but this is the Yardway site. So our yard waste site has never been showcased, but we're gonna show you all the amazing things about it. We only have a few days where the yard waste site is open. We'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. This is where the citizens of Watertown can bring yard waste and limbs and a few other things in that may not get picked up by their garbage route or their tree chippers throughout the year. So we're gonna meet Rob Rowe right over here. And he is the guy behind this yardway site right now. He's gonna tell us everything about it. So as you come in, in your vehicles, you're going to see two different lanes here. To the left, we're talking yard waste. And Rob, he is going to be here greeting you on those days or one of our other great street and solid waste teammates that are gonna be out here. If I come in to the yardway site, I'm bringing in sticks, grass clippings, mulch, things of that nature, and I'm going to be dumping them. You're going to show me where I can take them. Okay, so if you have any yard waste, garden waste, you're going to dump it off to my left here. Okay. If you have any brush, okay, you're going to come down to the end of the lane. Up to my right, we have a large brush pile. You have chunk firewood bulk firewood. We also have a spot for that on top of the hill. If you have, excuse me, if you have any reused sod or sod with stones in it, we have a spot up on top by our brush pile. You can dump off your used black dirt stones that are mixed in nature. Okay. Another thing we offer out here at our yardway site, if you're a homeowner, if you do uh, concrete work, sidewalks, patios, you have excess asphalt or blacktop or concrete, old concrete, you're allowed to bring that out here also. This is all free of charge, okay? If you have bricks, if you have stone, we all take that. You can bring out your to toilet bowls only, not the tanks of a toilet. All that asphalt, concrete, toilet bowls, ceramic, slate, bricks, that all gets ground up and reused for our road material. We have our own quarry in the city of Watertown and what's awesome about what Rob just said is that we can reuse some of that waste that our citizens have like the concrete, the porcelain, the terracotta in to some of those mixes that we use at our quarry with our street department. So Something that's interesting about this yard waste site is that not every municipality has one. And so Watertown is special in that way. Uh, there's actually a lot of science behind this yard waste site. And Rob was telling us about it a little earlier. So let's go and take a look right over here. garden waste so they're taking it out of the bags and they're putting it onto the pile here and one thing that Rob had mentioned is that those paper bags are going to be able to be reused which is awesome in the fall so, the you leaves. collect leaves mm -hmm. and we have a separate pile for the bags of leaves yeah. but this is all going to be worked up and here's some signs for you folks I'm gonna come over this way We've got several different piles of mulch here. So this is actually going to go through and decompose. And we have some in different stages. It can take a year or two 
and then it gets transferred and flipped so that it turns into nice rich mulch for your flower beds. Now what's this pile in the middle here, Rob? Cattails. Cattails. Those are an invasive species, species that we've been taking out of our drainage ponds or sediment ponds in the local neighborhoods. So you've probably been seeing a little bit about um, keeping our waterways clear sure. and our storm water manager that we have here educating our community about keeping the waterways clear. Um, the Inner Urban Trail, which is a neighbor of us as well, they do a little bit of that uh, reclaiming some of the water so it doesn't wash away. Well, these cattails, when we're going out there to maintain that area, are being pulled up and they're going to become yard waste with the yard waste that we have here. So it's all going to be processed. Now, in the fall, is that in the fall that we get a contractor out here? How does it become mulch? So we bring a, we bring a contractor in when we get a certain height of the piles here behind me along with our brush pile which is up here on my left okay they'll grind all that so what they do is they'll grind this pile here along with the cattails and with some of the i call chunk fire some firewood mixed brush that'll all get ground up when it gets ground up it turns into these piles off here on my left which are decomposing. Once a month, street department crews will come out here and rotate, rotate these piles, and we take temperature checks on these piles. What's happening there is the microorganisms are breaking down all of your yard waste. After a year, that breakdown of the yard waste now becomes your finished product, which is your black dirt slash compost that you use for your gardens. So, if you are unable to get into the yardway site during those time frames, there is a place where you can go on Boomer Street. Now, that place on Boomer Street is only for pickup. There is a small portion where our park and forestry team drop off branches for firewood but that is only pickup. There is no drop off at that location. So if you're looking to get rid of your guard waste, this is where you come. Let's keep walking. We're gonna go up to the hill to talk a little bit more about branches. So, that one's drier. So we have a yellow brick road that goes through the yard waste site. If you follow the signs, you won't get lost and left behind. Um, there is a group that's actually picking up a bunch of this mulch. This is the first time in a while that we've had a vendor actually come out and be able to participate with our residents in our city here to utilize some of this mulch, which is really nice. It's an added benefit. Uh, as you'll see as we go up the hill, we have some mulch piles that have been here for about five years, okay? So everything that's coming out of your, out of your backyards is here for you. And Rob had mentioned that there might be something in the future where uh, we could get passes on the vehicles so that they can wave you in if you're a city resident, or maybe there's even opportunity for people that aren't city residents to get a pass through our department too. That might be a nice way to get rid of a lot of the surplus of the mulch that we have. Um, so now, now straight ahead of us, we have what we call our brush pile. This brush pile are your tree branches from storms, or if you're trimming out trees, you're allowed to bring that out here, okay? You bring it out here, you dump it off. The final product of this brush pile becomes the wood chips off to my left and off to my right. So if you... Okay. The wood chip pile that city residents can pick up Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays when the yardway site is open, free of charge, you can pick up our wood chips from the park and rec and from the street department, from your boulevard. That's free of charge. And that's this straight ahead here. Stuff. It is just like the stuff you might find.
There you go. I'm touching it because it's going to be spring this week, okay? Um, and again, like Robin mentioned, we have some Christmas trees, we have some branches. This is all stuff you can bring down here. Um, we really encourage you to come out, take a look. We're glad that we were able to show this site to you today. Thank you so much for coming out. Don't forget to check out the dog park. Don't forget to check out the airplanes coming through when you stop by. And then the free pickup site as well, which is on Boomer Street. Thank you from 507 South Street. Have a good afternoon.